After the move e4, we can reply with e5. He can play here, we can protect our pawn. Now he can play the Spanish and we can choose the Berlin defense. Gary Kasparov himself wasn't able to do anything about that opening in 2000 and he lost the World Chess Championship match against Vladimir Kramnik. And here, we can, after the castling, we can play the tricky move knight to g4. Probably he's going to kick your knight away because people don't like to see pieces against his enemy king. And here, you're not going back. You can play the move h5. He can take your knight, you can take the pawn, attacking his knight, he can go away. And now look at that beautiful move, queen h4. And now what he's going to do? You're threatening two checkmates here and there. He can play something like that in order to create an escape square, but you can block it. You can block him inside, you can create the box here, he cannot do anything at all. And if he just plays something, for example, you can deliver this beautiful checkmate. And if you like to learn openings uh, in a nice way, to learn everything there and create a very solid opening repertoire, I have a cool solution for you. Chess openings are extremely important and especially if you play blitz games. Do you struggle with them? No more! We have a specific and very simple solution for you. Asaf Givon and Angelo Kessaris created the chess scores the best and aggressive and blitz friendly openings. Follow the link below and grab your gift today. Now let's go back to the business and after these normal moves we are examining the central game here after d4, taking and now he is going to take with the queen, this is one of the lines and one of uh, Nepomiachi himself liked this line a lot and after this one he's going to play there in the previous video I explained why he's going to do that and now uh, one popular move is the move d6 I'm not really fan of it and we can transpose to the previous lines to the previous videos actually here white can choose between this one and you can play that and after these developing moves we have transposition to um, file number 10 you're going to check it you can check it actually in the pgn files and by the way if you like to find the pgn files now i'm going to show you how to find them how to find the pgn files this is the starting position on my website and you can see this option register you can register for free then you can log in and new item will appear profile please click it and you're going to see this page scroll down and click in your favorite opening line Click it and then you're going to see the lessons inside. Here you can read a separate article and then you can start reading, study the lessons one after the other. The lessons are different. And then you can download the PGN files on your computer by clicking here. A new window will appear and by clicking that one, download, you will get your files. Now let's be back to the business and uh, Instead of that one, he can, instead of bishop on d2, he can play that one and again we have a transposition, even this move and after that he can play there, we have transposition to file number 10 or we can play g6 instantly, it's transposition to that line. Let's move forward right now because we would like to see something else and after these moves and knight f6 we are going to the main line here white is not developing this knight to c3 this is the main line actually we are going to see it in the video after this one but uh, he can choose something mm. else i added this move it's uh, one of the options not many players playing this one but a lot of uh, colleagues a lot of youtubers would like to see to show this move actually because it contains a trap and now black um, Actually, the best move he here is to give this check on before. This is the best move because you are attacking the enemy king, forcing him to play something like this, and then you can prepare the castling. This is the best move. But uh, they would like to show this move because you are attacking the bishop, and after this, now you can give this check, for example. And here, if he just play this by transposition, we can uh, do that. After c3, after bishop b2 it's normal, we can play something like this and maybe we can take the bishop, it's okay for black, it's equal, as you can see below me on uh, with the computer evaluation, but c3 contains a trap actually, and here we can play this move uh, bishop here, this is the trap, 
and you can understand that if queen captures there we have these double threats everybody will be excited about that or he can try to avoid that one by playing this normal move because he's attacking the pawn and uh, the knight there but again we have another trap here and this is boom bishop takes and whatever it does for example this one fails to that uh, double check the knights are powerful here or he can take with the queen and we have this double threat but okay this is not really serious stuff actually only completely beginners can play this bishop here on c4 it's not logical to put the bishop there he's going to play knight c3 or bishop d2 and for that reason the traps here that were you are watching usually on youtube channels are not working some of them are good but some others are not actually like this one and here we have a very very sneaky move e5 you should be extremely careful about that move e5 and if you play with the white pieces and if you like something with the white pieces this is an extremely tricky move if black don't know what to do actually he is going to face a lot a lot of problems the easiest way to continue with this is knight to d5 attacking the queen and after that put the knight there try to develop your pieces you can see computer don't really like this one but it's not that um, that uh, hard to play it's easy to play you can play that one you can play d6 try to uh, to to strike in the center and we will see actually we will see what happened but why definitely it's little better and another continuation the best continuation is knight to g4 however you need to remember here what you are doing because if you just forgot one move if you play fast actually you might lost the game you're attacking the queen he can play queen e2 or queen e4 after queen e2 here you should not take the pawn you should not take you should it's very easy to mix actually things here because after this you're completely losing he pinned uh, the knight and he's going to win you have to play something else and this self something else is, is this move d6 and uh, after that if he he can just take there you have to play bishop to e6 black has compensation my computer said that uh, black is clearly better as you can see because we just develop a lot of pieces but um, you need to know what to do you need to know what to do here what you are doing in order to to play better you just sacrifice one pawn so for that reason e5 is extremely tricky and after e2 you have to play this d6 move sacrificing the pawn but after knight g4 if you just play knight uh, queen e4 then you can take the pawn on uh, on e5 and again it's extremely easy to mix the lines because queen g4 instantly it's not a good idea here he can play g3 as you can see he's attacking the queen we can go back we should go back but you have to take this one now he can play uh, the move f4 but instead uh, the comparing to the previous variation the queen is not only two is on uh, e5 on e4 and for that reason we can take some tempi here the first one is this one if you can play d5 play it attack the queen and now he has two options this is not so good actually because you can attack again and now you can give this check now you see in this line you need to go to this check but right now it's okay because after that you can play queen g4 and it's extremely tactical because now you pinned this f pawn and he cannot really take your knight okay this is the idea now i have two games one won by white and one lost here he can play for example bishop to b5 and you can continue developing your pieces he is not doing anything against your queen here if you just play something like this you can take the pawn for example and after knight e2 you can play this one this powerful move attacking the queen he don't have a lot of squares he has to play something like this during the game uh, black capture there it's close to feed the master lever it's not beginner or something but uh, he, he lost the game actually yeah i lost the game on uh, wrong uh, 1991 but even better was this move d3 not so easy to see everything but okay the idea is to attack the enemy liberate your pieces threatening him and after this you can take here now he has something to do with that pawn as you can see we can jump forward for example and after this we can castle king side it doesn't matter if he just double our pawns because we have fantastic activity and the rook is coming not so easy actually to find all of these moves and i'm telling you that even if it, the master didn't manage to find everything another continuation here is bishop to e3 attacking the queen and here you can go back again offering the exchange what he's going to do f5 is not a serious move right because he cannot really take the pawn and by the way what are we going to do after f5 queen h5 and uh, we are not threatening something i guess something specifically 
but we just move our queen and we can continue developing our pieces and our knight this is very important our knight there is safe so let me add the valuation to that line that uh, black is winning so he is going back something like this and again you can take if you just take here everything is just fine you can move your bishop or something and if he captures like this again you have uh, this move continue do something against his queen you are attacking the queen he can play something like this and now you have this check and after this you have that check for example and black won that game white is uh, losing here after the move e5 as you can see or it's not a very nice continuation but but black should know what he is doing and the best way to learn the theory actually is to play a lot of games you're going to lose many games with the black pieces like this and after this you're going to remember the theory sad but true this is the way how are you going to to learn the theory unfortunately or you can see 10 million times this video in order to remember everything the the more normal move here the second most popular instead of uh, knight to c3 as you can see is bishop on d2 and now we have some transpositions we can play something like this and now we can play d5 actually has some exchanges here and after that more exchanges happen bishop there i have a very important game for you here and after these exchanges he didn't capture here instantly because black can take there so he can castle we can castle and after this development here black um, is okay why didn't capture that pawn because he is afraid of that move for example something like this something like that he don't like to open lines against his uh, king this is the idea why he didn't capture there the, uh, this pawn and the players are uh, Adams with white pieces and Anand with black yes I remember correctly Linares 1994 and the game ended in a draw very important game for us to remember bishop to e7 is a modest nice move try to continue developing the pieces and a little more aggressive is to play bishop to b4 actually probably he's going to play something like this and here if you just play d6 we have transposition to file number 10 we just examined this one with the previous video with the move g6 or this one and uh, here we have queen to e7 it's maybe a little interesting to see i didn't analyze it but analyze it but it's okay and the main line is after castling we are transposing to the main line which we're going to examine in the next video so in this one we saw some uh, sublines actually and here we are after that moves the most popular move to the main line is knight to c3 but white here have some other options this is uh, stupid traps for uh, youtube uh, this is very very interesting uh, actually and black has to know what he's doing very important very you can trick your opponents with this one unfortunately but uh, it's there and i show you how to play you need to play knight to g4 and after queen e4 to, to take that pawn but if you just play queen e2 you should not take the pawn you should play d6 this is the main difference and very easy to mix these lines and if you just play like this we can transpose to the main line if you would like to get attacking positions in every opening then i suggest you this amazing course 10 aggressive openings blitz friendly and here i'd like to show you the lessons inside the website if you are logged in then you are going to see this new menu profile if you click it you are going to see this page and then you can click here my lessons from this one you can see your available lessons and if you scroll down you can click here 10 aggressive openings with asaf Givon, with this fantastic author we create together the lessons and you can see here one lesson after the other you can see typical mistakes after that how to start the game correctly the best 10 moves then you can see what are the aggressive openings and then you're going to learn one lesson after the other we have a lot of lessons there and you can create a very solid and strong repertoire with white and black and here you can see two of the three lessons that i already published them on youtube and last but not least here you can you can download the pgn theory on your website you can download the practice the pgn files you can see all of the games online on my website or if you click here on practice pdf then you can see the exercises in the pdf format and you will be available to download this as well you can set up these positions you have a lot of interesting examples in each position from every every single opening i suggest you this fantastic course in order to start correctly in every every single opening 
Thanks for your time and I hope you enjoyed the video. Here it's time for action. This is the initial page of my website and here you can click give me access to get access to free lessons. You can read this page and if you scroll down here you can add your name and your email. After that you're going to take a free lesson how to avoid chess blunders. So time for action is now and you're very welcome to join my mail list.